So, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Fernando, and I will start telling a little bit about my story. So, I grew up in this small house in Brazil, and so far, so close to that, like four blocks, there's a slum. Then I grew up sharing the bus and walking in the streets and seeing that people that live in slums. And I was, I was always thinking like that four blocks of difference give me a lot of opportunities, like opportunities to go to the good schools and to be here today and to become an engineer. And I became an engineer because I like to design things and create things. But I just don't like to design it. I like to see people using it. But I never forget the people that live nearby. And then I look to this picture. And I realize that 10% of the world have disabilities. And 45 million are completely blind. Like Regina. Regina is my friend. And she's a blind woman, and she works as a braille reviewer in Brazil. And Regina has a lot of trouble when she goes shopping, because we didn't realize how many products do you have that has the same shape. But some products could be dangerous, as when we deal with money. So it's not only a functioning thing. Also, nobody, even though we cannot see themselves, they don't like to go out dressing like this. They need autonomy to do the basic activities. And nowadays, we have a lot of devices that help people, like Braille watches, uh, Braille displays, and even high advanced technology to assist uh, blind people. But I saw a problem here, the price. For example, a color reader in Brazil, that's just a color reader, costs $600. I'm designing a device that can also reach Brazilian money and will cost $100. This is twice the minimum salary in Brazil. So the device is very simple. It's a small handheld device. You touch the color of the object, and the device speaks the color, the name of the color, or the value of the bill. So this was our first device, and was used to, as a proof of concept. And now we have this one. This is the actual device, uh, actual prototype, and is being used uh, with users in Brazil. So my mission here is to design and provide affordable assistive technology for people with all kinds of disabilities to improve their autonomy and quality of life, especially in the developing world. So to do this, I need a model, a business model. <laughs> I'm starting uh, my own company, that's called Awiri. And then we will distribute, design and distribute affordable devices for people with disabilities, starting with this color reader. Then we will use three main channels of distribution. We will be partnered with non-profit organizations, so they can make it affordable to all, all people with low income. We use also for-profit resellers and also an online store. But now we are starting with a team of two. We are both computer engineers, and Natalia is my partner. And she also developed a lot of things, a lot of software related with usability, like for the, to the $100 laptop. And we are designing this together. And we are getting a lot of help from the Dorina Novil Foundation for the Blind, which is the biggest in Brazil. And also, we are in partnership with the Solar Ear Project, they design and produce hearing devices for deaf people. And they employ deaf people uh, to make this. So we will have deaf people working to make devices for bl blind people. So then can they can have more access to jobs. And also, we are partner of the Artemisia uh, Network and the Unreasonable Institute um, <coughs> on this year. So, Again, uh, my mission here is to design and provide devices for these 650 million people living with disabilities in the world. Thank you. <laughs> 